S and T College of Ashatinidia. This is Mr. Aaron Agbro from Delta State to visit the farm. Let's go into the college and see what's uh, up. Exactly. Yeah. It all depends on how your land is. There are many lands in different places, different shape of land. So the first thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do is, what is the size of the land? And what is the shape of the land? Now, take a look at this shape. This is a very bad shape of land. Are you with me? Yeah. This is a very bad shape of land, but I will not say it's a bad shape because you want to do snare farming. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. So what you need to do first, let's take a look at this. It might be 50 feet by 100 feet. Places like in Delta, Edo, they have 100 by 100. They call it one plot. In Lagos, in other part of the uh, country, it's not one plot, it's two plots. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Now, all you need to do first is, you ask yourself, am I going to use this farm for a long time? Do I intend driving in? Okay, okay. Or, I don't want to drive in, I want to use the full plot, everything for, for farm. farm. Okay. Maybe I just build small boys' quarter somewhere okay. for person who live, okay. or do one or two things. Mm -hmm. But... After making that decision, you now know the kind of gate to put. Okay. If you are driving in, you put a gate that so you have to decide if you are driving in. If you are driving in, you put a big gate because so many of us have this mentality that you first uh, land, you just put big gate. You decide, are you using it for farm? He said, Yes. Am I driving in? Do I have intention of driving in? He said, Yes. You can put a driving gate, okay. you mount it. But if you are not driving in, you said, okay, no, I'm not driving in. It's just a pedestrian gate. You just put that small pedestrian gate okay. just to walk in. Okay. Good. Now, when it comes to architectural design of your farm, how do I want my farm to look like? You have to design it out from the beginning. Now, how do you design it? Now, this is the farm. The first, this is the wall. This is the fence. We try to cut costs. Not to use, a, a, after having your fence land, you now use a greenhouse a structure like net, where you already have the fence. We convert this fence as a wall. We convert this fence as a kind of a, a barricade of the snail farm inside the greenhouse. Then, you take from here down. If you centralize your gate here, this gate entry should be a walkway direct. If your gate is here, you design your farm to make sure it works according to the walkway. Now, from this place to this place should be six feet. Six feet. This is six feet from the wall. Six feet. Why is this place six feet? Remember, after this is the farm. This is the walkway. Parallel to your gate. You are to move here. So when you stand in this place with your picker, you can stretch to the, this wall. So from this place to the wall is six feet accessible. You have no right to step in into this place. Ask me why. The reason is this. Snails, they've laid eggs everywhere in this place. It's their natural habitat. They've laid eggs in all these old places. So your own way to where to walk is only on this walkway. Yeah. You assess this way, just from this place to this place, six feet. 
not too long, so okay. that you can okay. assess yes. exactly stretching on your this thing, it will get to this wall. Okay. Maximum six feet. All right. Now, after this first one, the second one should be 12 feet. So when you are here, you assess six feet half. Side. You turn to this other side, there should be a, a kind of a walkway from this place down this way. Okay. From this other walkway now, you assess the second six feet. Okay. So this middle one now will now 12 feet. Why? Remember, this is right a wall. Side, no, exactly. Right this one has both sides. This one has just one side. And the one side of this is six feet. Now, since this has both sides, you take six feet here, take six feet here. So what you have in the middle, in areas you are planting, is now 12 feet. Six from there, six from there. Then, if your last still continue, you define another twelve. Okay, right, right. Then the ending. Then okay, walkway. Okay. If the end is not to the fence, becomes a uh, uh, twelve, uh, six feet. Six now, feet, yeah. this is now six feet. So as you are going, in my my, my happens that this thing now become eight okay. feet, nine feet. There's no way you can okay. cover, you can manage that. Okay. But at least you've defined a maximum way of, you know. Making sure that you have your access, this thing has their own access. Okay. This is it. Then if you have something like this, which is not straight, the land is not straight, you might decide to take your six feet in this shape. And your walkway can also go in that shape. And have your pedestrian or your big gate. The next one can also come in that shape. Now, from here it's now six feet. Mm -hmm. Now the next one now is now... 12 feet then the walkway the size of your walkway is nothing more than just two feet okay. because it's meant for you and the, the the walkway is also a drinker like i said from here another one so you design the farm according to the shape of the land because if i give you a design of one full plot sizable you might think ah my farm is not in that shape, okay, everything has scattered. So you like need this. to understand yeah. how to design your farm according to the shape of your land. Okay. You understand? According to the shape of your land. This is it. Same thing with this. If your land is in this shape, maybe your door happens to be here. You might decide to do it this way. From here to here, this is the walkway, this is the farm. Six feet. Six feet, yeah, twelve. twelve. Walkway, twelve. Walkway. 12, walkway, 12, walkway, 12, or last, last, 6. You understand? Yeah. So, this is what we call fencing of farm. You understand? That is the fencing of the farm. If you have a land already, and your land is already fenced, you have to walk according to it. Are you getting me? We try to avoid building a farm this way. Let me put it here. Now, this is a, a fence. This is your fence compound. You now come inside and start building a greenhouse. What happened to this fence? It's a waste. Instead of constructing all of these, all you just need to do is... Fence to fence. Okay, All you just need to do is to top to top. Okay. You roof from this place to this place. We we'll call it underground roofing. Okay. Then at the end, you put small block here. You put small block here. Then nobody will know from the outside that something su such is happening in your farm. Okay. Because if they know, trust, depends on the area you are living, they will want to discover that thing that is there. I always see nets, you understand, like this. What are they doing there? One month, two months, three months. Some people want to find out. It's just their job. Yes, they want to find out what's going on there. How does it affect me? Mm -mm. They want to just know. Even neighbor will like, I, I, I always see somebody coming into that place and they put something like that. What did they do? You understand? They want to go inside. So we don't even create that opportunity for them to even see. Let me show you from the outside view. Look at it. From the outside, you cannot know anything. Passerby, people, nothing. nothing. They don't know what's going on. You understand? That is from the outside environment view. They don't know. Let's go in.
Take a look at this. This is where it stops. So there should be a coach of block that will be higher than the roofing from the outside. So from inside, everywhere is sealed. So nobody knows what's going on. So they will just pass and go. That is security construction in terms of a snake farming from s and t college all right so what that means is you can set up you can define the architectural design of your farm following the protocol the protocol is don't just define a walkway i don't to make your walkway why because you are not driving car inside you are not driving bicycle just for you just to walk two feet is enough for you to walk to do every other activity to stretch left to stretch right is okay because the more you expand the walkway, you are shortening the space of your, your farm. Remember, the plantation area is for the snare, the walkway is for you. I don't know if you are getting it. Thank you. Now, that is uh, snail farming fencing. We've discussed that. Now, we'll move to the second topic. Uh, Cross. Yeah, welcome to s &T College. Please, we try to make sure we differentiate ourselves from every other person by giving you the right thing. You can travel from any part of the country to come to our college. You are welcome, but you must be a registered student of the college. We teach you from the beginning to the end. Due to accommodation issues, at least you want to visit, you can visit, but you're not going to the online class. The online class is also practical because what you do there will see will direct you. But you want to see with, your, with yourself, come to the class, see one or two things, explanation, we give it to you. We are not telling you we are the best, but we farm the biggest Ashatina, Ashatina snail, which is called the Ashatina marginata species, the biggest snail in the world. Thank you. My name remains Engineer Theocracy, your humble Ashatinidia culturist. Thank you.